you are strong and this has come off as very arrogant and terrible before but this is who you are meant to be okay please Aquarius, this is your solar eclipse reading for April of 2023, and we're going to go ahead and see what this eclipse has in store for you. Uh, again, this is for the solar eclipse. Your problem. All right, some of you are trying to find love and lovers and trying to see if this person is the one for you. You need to wear the pants, and you need to be the person taking charge if that is the case. Okay, what else is going on? All right, we need to be focused on finances at this time. You need to make sure that you have enough money or that the incoming lover has enough money. That is definitely going to be very important. You're gonna do a little bit of juggling and thinking and planning on, oh, when you should debate this person, ask them the nitty gritty. Um, but I, I would definitely be defensive over the coins if, if they come in here second guessing your decisions and how you spend your money um i want you to contest that but please do not back down or go back and forth with your words just say what you need to say and and uh, uh keep it could keep it pushing with the king of wands here um you are the creator of your own destiny if you mistakenly accept this incoming love as the permanent and the one you're going to be settling for a lot of crap that's not you at all so i'm not worried about you Yes, please feel free to cut that heartstring on this card. Feel free to abandon them, okay? Um, get, get rid of any stagnant energy. As soon as somebody does not fitting the bill, please move on from them. Let's go ahead here. Yeah, you're trying to decide if you're sitting around for too long, but I, I think that that fear is unfounded because you have the sword and the stone here being ready to be pulled, to pull the trigger at the right time, and it will be the right one. So the right person with the right amount of money uh, for you will be coming in now this may not be for you if you don't have your finances in order unless you are entirely planning on being codependent on someone who has the finances so that you don't have to work as much or can work less or can focus on your side hustle etc um, those are things that you want to plan but plan for the right one and be ready to receive that okay you're a little overly confident in your ability to discern immediately but I want you to really think I really want you to plan I really want you to take your time choosing this person because it will work out for you in the end it does take time to watch that transformation happen you have to know a lot about a person before you welcome them wholly into your heart into your home into your bed to meet your children your family I want you to really take your time and really wait for that turnover that transformation before you start bringing them around okay you are strong and this has come off as very arrogant and terrible before, but this is who you are meant to be, okay? Please be strong and decisive in all your decisions. Again, you are the creator of your own desire with the magician here. You're the creator of this amazing person that is coming in, these amazing opportunities, these great financials that are coming in for you with this solar eclipse. And I want you to use your discernment in an appropriate and pleasant way. Okay. There we have uh, Nine of Swords. We are following some long-term goals here. So if you feel like you are settling or have already settled, please don't do that. But be ready to receive the money um, once you have made the right decision. I think that you're going to meditate and pray. and You're going to wait on dreams to tell you if this person is the one for you. Because the money does need to be in place. The money is very important for you to receive and appoint love. Okay, justice. This is something that you really deserve. Let's go ahead and pull another one to see what else is coming in to seize the opportunity. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So with the Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups, again, we have two beautiful energies here. We have the sword and the chalice. And this is unification. This is sexuality. That feels really good to me. Ace of Cups is also opportunity that is like a doll right in front of you, right? But it does take professional discernment. It does take some planning. It takes some thinking. And I... I want you to actually really, really study and think about who this person is because they are coming with a lot of money and you're bringing a lot of money to them. There is a financial exchange here. I anticipate, is it someone that you're sleeping with as a coworker? Is this your boss? 
can't say. You can. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, don't repeat any past mistakes. All right. So with the hangman, we're, we're learning our lessons. Seven of Cups. We're being more selfish than we have been before. I need you to be more selfish. I need you to take the time to really think about um, how you're going to do this and how you're going to make this bad person leave, how you're going to attract this new one. But then Ten of Cups, look, family, love, everything you could ask for. The home and household are going to be in order, and that sounds and feels really good. Aquarius, that feels amazing. Four of Pentacles, again, you're working dig diligently to fill the coffers to make sure that there's money saved, that there's appropriate finances in order so that you can continue to move forward. Um, I anticipate that if some of you did not have the finances, the finances are coming in. If you have the finances now, do not squander it. Make sure this person can support themselves before they come and share a bed with you. All right. This feels good, Aquarius. I really appreciate you letting me read for you. Of course, this is Solstice Psychic Readings, and if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and all that. I will see you all next time.